OK, now you've finished editing your photo, you'll want to save it in a popular format that everyone can access. To do this, you'll need to export it. Exporting is an essential process for creating your finished image. Basically, this process lets you choose an image format, dimensions and quality, suitable for the environment in which you want to use your image. For example, a JPEG for use on websites. The great thing about exporting is that it leaves your original project intact. This means you can come back and edit it at any time. In Photo Plus, the Export Optimizer can be used to get your photo ready for export. Here, you can preview the effect that different file formats and changes in the quality settings could have on your finished image and its file size. You can also compare different settings against each other to see which looks best. OK, I've performed a colour pop on this photo and now I want to export it. To do this, I'll start by opening the file menu and choose Export. This is the Export Optimizer dialog. You can zoom in or out using the Dialog Zoom tool. In the Options tab, you can choose an export format and specific settings. The options change depending on the format that is selected. Each time you make a new choice, the preview pane refreshes using the new settings, as well as showing the estimated file size. It's also possible to change the size of an image in the export area, for example to make thumbnails for use on websites. It's really useful to see different formats alongside each other so they can be compared more easily. In the Export Optimizer, you can choose either Dual or Quad View. To activate these, simply select a preview pane and then you can change the format and compare the results. JPEG is a popular format to use when exporting photos because it has such a small file size. This comes in really useful when using and sharing photos. I just click on a new pane and, in the Properties section, I'll change the format to JPEG. As you can see, the file size is significantly lower than the PNG image. A useful tip for exporting to JPEG format is to set the quality at 95%. Let's look at the effect of doing this. I'll click on another pane, select the JPEG format, and then change the quality setting to 95%. The file size is now much less than what it was in the other JPEG image, and yet I don't think it looks any different. I have changed the image in the final pane to a JPEG format, but with only 10% quality. You can see when I zoom in that this is extremely poor. If the image is to be used on a website, the general rule of thumb is the smaller the file size, the quicker the download. However, in this case, because of the quality, it would actually be better to resample this photo by reducing its dimensions. One thing to remember is that this process of JPEG compression is lossy, which means it throws away data. In short, data inside the image which isn't being used is discarded and that's how the file size is reduced. This was developed especially for saving photos, as it produces the smallest file size with the best results. Don't panic that any important data in your photo could be disappearing, it's only the unnecessary data which is unnoticeable when looking at it. When you have decided what settings to use, it's time to continue with the export. First, Make sure the correct preview pane is selected. Next, click the Dialog's Export button and then choose somewhere to save your exported file. You'll also need to provide a file name. Click Save and your project will be successfully exported. When you next go to Exit Photo Plus, a dialog will appear prompting you to save changes. Exporting your image saves it in a format suitable for use outside of the program, but it can't be edited anymore. If you click Yes to save your changes, 
You'll be able to save your photo as a Photo Plus picture, an SPP file, which means you can come back and edit it in the future if you need to. If you want to be able to do this, click Yes and then save your photo as you would normally. Next, we can look at an exporting situation where another format, PNG, is really useful. This is when there is transparency present in your project. Part of this photo is transparent and we can see this from the white and grey checkerboard background. I want to export this image, so I'll go to the Export Optimizer. If I try to export as a JPEG, you can see that the transparent section turns white. To ensure the transparency is honoured, I'll select PNG and then change the bit depth. If I choose 32 or 64 bit, the section in my image that I want to stay transparent does stay transparent. To export with these settings, I'll make sure that this pane is selected and then click export. OK, to recap, we've explored the export optimizer and seen the benefits of tweaking the format of a file before exporting it. It's worth remembering that there are no set rules for exporting files and the preferences change with each one. You can experiment with the format settings, bit depth and quality to see what works best for you and your projects. Well, that's all for today. For more information, see the Help, the How To tab or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.